All right, students, you have your background done. You have the lights uh, value and you have some of the dark values done. Well, now it is time to add some color. So I got some color pencils and I got some watercolors, okay? Hopefully you have your picture of your person up. Uh, I do. And when I'm looking at that picture, I'm now looking at the colored uh, photo that I uploaded. So if I look here, I'm looking at that photo now because I'm looking for the color in the person my grandmother's face that I'm drawing. So you'll look at the colors in the person that you're making. Um, you can sort of choose to do uh, just watercolors, but I wanna show you a little trick to liven up your work today. I'm just gonna go straight into time-lapse and then sort of voice over what I'm doing. Uh, when you're working with watercolors, work slowly, let the layers dry. So you'll see me stop and probably have multiple time-lapses put together. Um, just because I want to work really slowly so I get this right. Uh, let me go into time lapse. So when working with watercolors, uh, make sure you work slowly and about controlling the water. Let things dry. I have a light tone, a dark tone, and a base tone. I'm working those in for the skin. Then I'm going to go in for the dark areas and the light areas within the hair as well as the skin and get those all put in. Going slowly not letting it be too watery, um, giving those illusions, allowing things to dry, then going in and putting in the shadows with the blue to give it some dimension, let that dry, then go back in and get some rosiness in the cheeks and in the skin to bring some blood to the face, then let that dry. And then I'm gonna work on some of the other parts of like her shirt that she's wearing um, to make that come alive. And then once I've done that, I'll let it, it dry, um, adding a little bit more blue in the shadows to pop those up a little bit more. Once that's dry, I'll go in and start thinking about that background. And as you can see here, I'm just painting in all the negative space. I want it to have that green feel like she's just uh, in a wall of roses sort of thing. So going in carefully and neatly just painting all those little areas of negative space there to make it look like there's just a green wall there. So in between all those plants, I'm using a very small brush, make it, make it nice and easy. Um, I also diluted the green to make it a little bit lighter. Once that's all dry, I'm going back in and I'm gonna work on those roses and I'm looking at the light tones first for them. So just going in and getting all those around everywhere I need to. I'm not working on everything at once. I'm just working on one color at once. It makes it nice and easy to organize what I need to do. Once that's done, I can let it dry completely. And then I will go back in and start making some of those leaves really pop out. So I'm looking for two contrasting colors, a dark green and a light green. Worked on the dark ones first, now the light green. And then just building those up. If it gets too wet, I got my paper towel there to let it, to mop it up a little bit, to stamp it dry. So I'm trying to add some contrast in here to make things really pop up. And now I'm going to go back and work on those bright spots on the edges of the rose to give it some highlights. Oh, my grandma loved roses, so I think this is perfect for her. Great background. Once I get all those in, I'll let that dry, uh, possibly for a few minutes. And then come back in and get the shadows and get some highlights into her clothing to give the illusion that there's shadow and it's draping on her. Once that's done, fully dry. All right, students, now that we got it all watercolored and the background and everything is done and it's dry, we're gonna start using some color pencils. I'm gonna put it into a time lapse so you can see. Um, remember, little circles. 
With the colored pencils, I'm thinking about textures. So I'm putting in some skin textures with little circles. So it gives a feeling that there's something there. Drawing in her glasses, putting in the lenses. Then I'm gonna go into um, the background, into the leaves and into the roses and giving some highlights and some texture. Then into her hair, give it some texture, puts the lines in it for her hair. Then into her shirt to give it some texture like she's actually wearing it. So the colored pencils really give this idea of texture to your drawing.